hello everyone now in this video for tips and tricks in SAS, i'm going to tell you two things number one check number of records in multiple tables let me give you a, a simple example let's say this is the library which we have over here and now if i ask you to check the number of rows and columns in this particular table what you can do is you can simply double click this this will be opened and from here you can just see number of rows are 99 and columns are 4 but what if i ask you to check the number of rows and columns in all of these tables definitely you're gonna you know hit me hard so for that what we can do is here is the simple statement okay all that you need to do is use write data create a data set okay data and we can say it records set sas help dot uh let's say the live uh, okay sas help dot there is one table which is called v table in the sas help library we have one table which is called v table this this one is very useful table i would strongly recommend you to just go through this all the columns are available in this particular table and check that out okay and we, here we're gonna say where lib name where upcase lib name equals to la right so you can see this library i have assigned as la over here and then just hit run button so whatever tables we have in this particular library we're going to get a list of all the rows and columns in each of the table okay now for simplicity what i'm going to do is print this particular table prop print data equals to records and then just run now let's execute this here we go so here we have lot of information so this looks pretty hazy right so let me make it simple what i'm going to do is out of all these columns all these columns which you see over here i'm going to keep only those which are very important okay so if i have to keep that then i'll keep a list of lib name lib name then i would say meme name meme name is nothing but the table name and name is the column name and where that's gonna tell you number of columns in each of the table right and n ops that's gonna tell you number of records in each of the table right now you execute this and here we go so if you see over here in la library we have all these tables and each in each of the table we have these many observations and these many columns right so this is how you can use this particular thing now if you want to check in this entire sas session whatever table you have you if you want to check the number of rows and columns in each of the table what you can do is just remove this particular condition and execute this entire statement now this is going to give you the list of all the tables now if you see over here whatever tables you have in your sas session these are the table name these are the library in each of the table how many rows and how many columns are available that you get the list over here this is it you see how simple is this now other than this let's let's you know explore this little more what we can do is let's make keep 10 observations only and try to explore this what all are the other informations we have available in this result let's see that okay this is taking pretty much longer so what i'm going to do is i'll just take this from here and i'll put it here okay so that it will select only 10 observations so if you see over here here it is giving you the library name table name this is the data type etc here if you see create date modify date everything is available so i strongly recommend you to go through each of the column available in this particular output and try to understand this is very 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 useful okay now other than this next tips is get the list of variables from all the tables now there could be a situation let's say if i give you a uh, column name called sex now i want you to search which table in this sas session has this particular column what all are the tables in this sas session has this particular column how are you going to search that the one way is to go in each of the library go in each of the table and look for that okay so that's 
completely kind of impossible thing right so you would not like to do that another scenario it could be if i ask you to create a data dictionary which contains the table name and column name from each of the table available in this session how are you going to do that for that i'm going to tell you another sas help table and that is let's create a, another data set data let's say columns i'm going to say it columns and set sas help dot v column you're going to use this table here we use v table and here we're going to use v column in that let's say we want to okay so you can simply if you want you can simply run now to make it small i'm just going to use the condition otherwise the data will be too huge okay where upcase lib name if you are thinking why i'm using upcase again and again then because to be on safer side i just want to match the cases right match the cases so whenever i use uh, whenever i work on string variables i always use the upcase to be on safer side lib name equals to la so i'm just going to look in this particular library only right and to keep list number of columns what i'm going to do is keep lib name meme name meme name is table name name these three things because all that i need is these three things right okay let me print that as well proc print data equals to columns and then just hit run and then just run this here we go now you see in la library we have a cars data right and that has columns type origin msrp invoice then we have c subset and in that we have all these columns now if you also want to see what is the data type for each of these columns that is also doable how can we do that for that you need to include another variable which is called type and then just execute this now here you get the type as well right so this is most more likely a proc content procedure but in proc content you gotta specify the table name and uh, library name etc but here you don't have to specify that now if you want to explore this particular table this one v column then what you can do is you can just execute this complete one and then you can just have a look on all of these columns what all are the information available like length of each of the column and uh, everything everything is about all right so you can just go through this and try to get a reference from here now if you want to get the list of all the columns from all of the tables available in this particular SAS session what you can do is you can just comment this out and you can draw this patch and this is going to give you that exact output okay so i hope it was pretty clear to you and useful to you trust me this is very useful when we are working in the uh, on, on on the data because many of the time it happens we have to explore the data what all are the rows and columns do we have okay i was telling you if we have to look for a column which is called sex how can you do that right so for that what you can do is you just write another condition okay let me just remove this and here what we can do is you see here these are the so we need to look in the name variable if it has a value where upcase and name equals to this now if you print this you're gonna get the name of those tables okay so see these all are the tables which has column six you see this is this is how this you see how simple is this right so I just hope that it was clear to you and you liked it. Just in case if you have any doubt, put that into the comment section. Until then, happy learning. Wish you very good.